Hey guys, today my boyfriend surprised me from London. I apologize if you get so many boyfriend content this week. He knocked on my door and then my mom answered. How embarrassing! Me and Sam spent the whole entire day together. We both went to the gym and I quickly got changed into my gym clothes. We started by running on the treadmill, then he and I went off to do our own thing. We then did some yoga together. After that, we went and got ice cream and went on the Ferris wheel. We then went home and got ready to go clubbing. The cab picked us up. We did loads of dancing and had a few drinks. We then got a cab home. I fell asleep still in my dress and Sam fell asleep with his suit still on. I would tell you more things what happened, but the rest of the night was a blur. Ways to make Here are my tips on how to get rich on Bloxburg. Just to prove I it's not Photoshop lol. First you wanna have a good mood station. So you can boost your moods quickly so you can work more. This is mine and it works pretty well. The TV above the back means you can boost fun levels and hygiene and energy all at once. A lot of you won't want to hear this. But honestly working is the best way to get money what I usually do. Is put on some Netflix in the background and watch that while I work. I also challenge myself to make 100k a day. So by the end of the week you will have 700k alternatively you can also do 50k, 50k a day to make 35k in a week. Once you are on a high enough level you will earn a lot of money from single tasks. It gets boring but you will get a huge payout in the end and will be able to build whatever you want. My next tip won't earn you lots of money. However it will give you a fair amount and it will give you a chance to boost your gardening skills. That's by having a fruit farm. If you plant the seeds before you work they should have time to grow and then you can keep working while they grow. Make sure you harvest the plants rather than removing them BC. That means you will not need to replant them. I hope this helped. Bloxburg just added something very strange. So I was scrolling around my Bloxburg server and found this. I think someone hacked the game, but it was a bit like an obby, so I decided to climb up it. Honestly, who did this? Does anyone know what this is? Regardless of how much pain these people have caused us, I wish you well. I wish you well. In hell. <laughs> <laughs> I really. Burn in hell. Burn
wishing you as much as I can. I've got to go. And don't even think about telling Mom. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> okay, bye. Today I was walking around my Bloxburg city when out of nowhere I saw this crazy rat begging me for money. And me, being the Bloxburg mom I am, didn't give them any. Which led to the rat threatening me, so I ran to the nearest sewage drain and jumped- Hello? Wait, come back. Wait up. I'm scared. Well, come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. Well, who, who do I call? I, I, I don't know. A, a police, a fire, a, a scientist. Call a scientist. Uh, okay, you can stay here with your father. I'm gonna go find a scientist. Am I gonna die?
Is the sauna worth 800 block bucks? All you can do is sit in it. What? And it only gets your energy up. Emotional, damn it! You might as well grind, and level up your skill to 25, and then you get it for free. I feel like I definitely got robbed. I bought a block spec house, but only toddlers can use it. Like literally, this is how tall it is. My head is literally hitting the roof. Okay, so this is the outside and the only way to get in is if you go to a closet, customize your character and turn into a toddler. And I mean, look at me, I look like boss baby. Okay, so walking inside this tiny little toddler home, this is how the inside turned out. We have the entryway and this little toy section. Here's the lounge room and they didn't have any kid sized lounges. <laughs> so I just added bean bags. Like tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. And then coming through, here's the bathroom. We literally just have a toilet and like a massive sink. The toilet paper is literally the same size as my head. I am concerned. We have the little artist corner where we paint our beautiful Gordon Ramsay posters. Live, love, love, Gordon Ramsay. You better comment that. And then here's the kitchen and the dining room. And unironically, this kitchen actually turned out so nice. So did this dining table. Like, why do my kitchens never turn out this well? Okay, so the last thing we have in this toddler house is the bedroom and the study. And the only thing with this bed is if you actually walk in the bed, you will potentially get a concussion. And then finally, we have our own car. So yeah, that's the whole toddler's house. Oh, okay, I just crashed.